don't forget, you can now get your baby Keisha plush toy at hellojuniper.com slash play. I never thought I would become friends with my bully and that she would end up buying me the most expensive prom dress ever. Hey girls and guys, it's Sarah from Sia Let's Play and we are back with another episode of Royal High School. And you guys know, my life's been really crazy, especially because my bully Amanda has been making my life a nightmare. But over the past few weeks, she's claimed to like, you know, be a lot nicer and stuff. And we actually had an amazing sleepover and it seemed like we were actually friends until she stole my diary and locked me in my dorm room. But then something happened. There was a little twist, a little revelation. It turns out that Amanda is swearing up and down that she had nothing to do with my stolen diary and me getting locked in my dorm room. She says she has solid 100% proof that it was not her who locked me in my dorm room and stole my diary. So I'm like, okay, Amanda, I will give you a chance. I will believe you. But if she lies to me one more time, that's it. I am never giving her a chance again. I've given this girl so many chances. I've tried to be her friend, even though she's done so many mean things to me. So if she's lying about this, I could never, ever trust her again. So I'm just patiently waiting in my room till she shows up. I gotta admit, my outfit today looks kind of cute. I'm kind of liking my outfit today. Oh, yes, girl. I slay. <laughs> I had to make sure I look cute because I might. Oh, if Amanda's lying to me about this, I might have to snatch her weave and we're going to get in a fight. I know violence is not the answer, but I've had enough. And currently, my friend Beth isn't speaking to me because she doesn't understand why I'm giving Amanda a chance. But look. People deserve a second chance, a third, fourth, fifth. I don't even know how many chances I've given Amanda. Ugh. Oh, wait, is that the door? <gasps> that must be her. Oh my gosh. Whew. I need to breathe. I need to relax. Let me just unlock the door and then that's it. Oh my gosh, there she is. Oh, <laughs> Did, uh, Amanda, you could uh, come in. Oh, there she goes. Uh. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey. Let's get right to it. So you and your little fans can stop calling me a bully. Whoa, 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 Amanda. I'm skipping class for you right now. So I know you're upset because I know you're being accused of being a bully, but you can't blame me or my subscribers for calling you a bully after everything you've done. I've got countless videos of you doing mean things to me, ruining my prom dresses, trying to steal my prom date, trying to get me kicked out of school. The list goes on. So you can't blame me for being a little bit suspicious. And if if I'm wrong about this, Amanda, I will be the first one to apologize. Speaking of your videos, go on your laptop. The proof was right in front of your face. Well, well, you want me to go on, on YouTube for the proof? How is there proof that it wasn't you? Amanda, I just hope you're telling me the truth. Just go. Look up my bully locked me in my dorm room, 340. Uh, okay, I remember that video. I'll go check. Does she actually have proof it wasn't her? Let me close my homework stuff and let me get on YouTube. Oh my gosh, if she's telling the truth. Was the proof actually in front of my face like she said? Okay, I got it open. I'm at 342. Um, that's close enough, right? There's Amanda. This is when she locked me in my dorm. I was trying to get out and I couldn't. Uh, what the heck? Amanda! Hey! Hello? Okay, that's Amanda. It proves it was her. Wait, wait, wait. You could actually see the person there. Does Amanda have white shoes or red? I think they're white. Okay, so far this is just proving that it was her. Uh <gasps> oh my gosh, that's Beth! That was Beth disguised as Amanda. She changed her name so that I would think it was Amanda the bully, but it was her. Um, my breakfast is start starting. Wait. Oh my gosh. Amanda, I am so sorry. I don't know why Beth would do that, but it was her, not me. Even your fan saw it before you. That's true. I scrolled through the comments after and... 
Wow. Amanda, I'm so sorry. It's just after you tried to pretend to be my friend and we had our little sleepover and stuff and we shared each other's secrets, I just thought that maybe all of this was just some kind of joke to you. I didn't know you were serious. And to be honest, I don't know why Beth would do this either. I mean, when I first met Beth, she was there crying. She said that, you know, like you were bullying her and I believed her because you'd bullied me before. You'd called me horrible names and stuff before. So I felt bad for her and she became my new best friend. And do you, is Beth someone you've known before? Does she have it out for you? Was all of this a lie by Beth to try to get me to hate you even more? Was I just like her little puppet or something? I have no idea who she is. Just another jealous loser. People always hate me for no reason. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't have to call her any names or anything like that. All right, Amanda? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe she's... Are you sure? You've got to think about this, Amanda. Why would she have it out for you? I mean, there has to be more to this story. Who cares? I'll get her kicked out of the school. My parents are rich, remember? Yes, yes, we all know your parents are rich. They got lots of money, blah, blah, blah. But you can't keep running to the principal and trying to get her kicked out every time you hate someone, Amanda. We got to get to the bottom of it. And I mean, I don't like anyone playing me for a fool. So I think, I think it's time for me to do some investigating. Forget about it. She's not even worth it. Anyways, while you were on the computer, I left you a surprise. Go try it on. Um, okay, uh, right, there it is. I guess I'll take it out the bag. I'm worried about this. Is she gonna have me wearing some kind of weird outfit? I like my outfit today. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would become friends with my bully and that she would end up buying me the most expensive prom dress ever. <gasps> Amanda, it's beautiful. But you didn't have to do this. This is way too much. The wings alone are like 18,000 diamonds and this skirt is like 33,000 diamonds. The crown, the diamonds, are like the actual real diamond on it. This must have cost you like a fortune. I know your parents are rich, but still, oh my gosh. You look amazing. It's my way of saying sorry for all the prom dresses I've ruined. Oh my gosh, that is true. You did ruin a couple of my prom dresses. You stole the first one and then you threw coffee on the other one. And uh, yeah, uh, but I can't accept this, Amanda. It's just way too much. My parents gave me diamonds and I love shopping. Plus, you look great, except for your hair. Ah, uh, there's the good old Amanda that we all know <laughs> and love sometimes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, honestly, look, I just, to be honest, I should be, I should be the one giving you something. Like, I should be the one, Amanda, I accused you of spreading lies about me, sharing my secret, locking me in a dorm room, like, none of it was true. I mean, I owe it to you, and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna come up with some kind of surprise for you, okay? I promise you. It's okay. I haven't been the nicest person to you or anyone really. I wanna try and be different. Bullying is so boring now. Okay, I hope you're not be. <laughs> Don't tell me you stop bullying because you're bored of it. You should say you stop bullying because you know it's wrong. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, I hope you are. Oh my gosh. All right, as beautiful as this beautiful, beautiful gown is and stuff, I need to change out of it because I do not want to get it ruined. And to be honest, I don't want you to accidentally ruin it again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just throwing that shade. Don't worry. All right. You know what? It kind of matches my outfit now, doesn't it? <laughs> well, once again, Amanda, thank you for everything. And I'm so, so sorry. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen a different side of you. And I hope you've actually changed. And this isn't some kind of prank or anything, okay? It's not a prank. I promise. Maybe we can hang out during lunch tomorrow. Oh, most definitely. Now that you're not my bully anymore, guess what, girl? You're gonna be stuck with me 24 seven. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll definitely hang out during lunch, all right? Well, have a good night, Amanda, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.
oh, I've just been waiting for Amanda to leave. Not in a bad way or anything. I'm actually really glad how this all turned out. I do feel really, really bad about accusing her of those things. And to be honest, we were all like calling her bully and stuff. And just to think she had actually changed. Me trying to be her friend actually worked. It stopped her from being a bully. And then I kept accusing her. Like, it's like I wasn't letting her past just go. I was still bringing it up. <sighs> but let's put Amanda to a side for a second. I'm going to grab something to eat because I'm actually really hungry because I didn't get to eat lunch. But let's put her to a side. If all of this is true, and it was Beth who did this, why did she do it? Why does she hate Amanda so much? Was everything a lie that day I found her at the table crying? Was she just like tricking me? Because she knew I would go. Everybody knows anytime I see someone crying, I always got to check on them and make sure they're okay. So did she kind of have this all planned out? She wanted to use me to try to get rid of Amanda? It's the only thing that makes any sense. But why? There has to be some kind of history. Maybe like when they went to elementary school together or something. Maybe Amanda was mean to her. I don't know. But right now, I think the best bet is just to pretend that I don't know what's going on. And just be really nice to Beth. Kind of see what's going on with her until we get to the bottom of it. But we also have to come up with something super nice to do for Amanda. Because I do feel bad and she gave me that beautiful, beautiful dress. I've got to do something in return. So let me know in the comments down below. What should we do for Amanda? How should we surprise her? She's rich, so she's got everything she could possibly want to buy herself. So I'm trying to think of something creative. Something too unique, you know? So let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, you guys, I've got a lot of thinking to do tonight about everything I just found out. So I'm going to try to get to bed early once again. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!